Hello uh, everyone, uh, my name is Vladimir Gurinov, uh, the topic is on, in this slide, uh, so we'll start. Uh, we consider a boundary value problem, Formula 1, that describes the dynamics of population density variation in a flat area. It consists of logistic equation with delay, also known as Hutchinson equation, supplemented by the diffusion term and Newman boundary conditions. Here, n, big N, is the population density at time t and point x of limited convex flat area omega with smooth border. Uh, and we have here the place separator, this diffusion coefficient, Malthusian coefficient of linear growth, and a uh, term with delay. Uh, and uh, we can study this boundary value problem one uh, analytically, just in two scenarios. In case of sufficiently large value of parameter r, and in case of parameter r close to critical value half of pi, with adding the special small positive parameter epsilon. This critical value half of pi is a critical value of parameter r in Hutchinson equation of the form 2. If r is less than a critical value, then the constant solution with value 1 is a stable equilibrium state of this equation. And if r is greater than half of pi, then the, there exists a stable cycle. Its form at r equals to 3 is shown on the slide. We see here three intervals with different dynamics. A part where solution is very close to zero value, it grows, but very slow. A part where solution exponentially grows and a part where solution more extremely falls to zero. The larger parameter r, the larger the peaks and the closeness to zero. Note that this solution is also the homogeneous mode of our boundary value problem one. We put this solution at the same time in every point of the area omega without phase shifts. If we consider the scenario of critical value of parameter r and small parameter epsilon, then we can find a critical value, the diffusion coefficient d with asterisk, at which the specially homogeneous mode loses its stability and specially inhomogeneous modes branch off from it inheriting its qualitative characteristics and prove the corresponding bifurcation theorem. Uh, the case of larger values of the parameter R and smaller values of the diffusion parameter D cannot be analyzed analytically. Therefore, we can use the numerical analysis. And it shows that this scenario of phase rearrangements keeps even at greater values of parameter R. So uh, we can calculate uh, the corresponding critical values of diffusion parameter D at different values of parameter R and draw a dependency graph. You can see it in this slide. To find the another specially inhomogeneous solutions, we change a flat area a little. Next, we will consider a square area that keeps the found critical values. And also we fix the parameter r at value three. Uh, thereby, a boundary value problem comes to form three, which we will study numerically. For this, we make a standard replacement of the place operator with its difference analog using well-known formulas and covering the area omega with a uniform grid. Uh, in experiments, it were uh, 100 to 100 nodes, so the boundary value problem turns into 10,000 connected equations with delay. After the huge numerical experiment, it was concluded that the boundary value problem 3 has solutions of two types, the first of which inherits the properties of a homogeneous solution, and the second, called the self-organization mode, is more complexly distributed over space and has properties that are significantly more preferable in terms of population dynamics. It was found some amount of modes at different values of diffusion coefficient. First of all, three self-organization modes near the critical value of diffusion. 
that coexist with special and homogeneous mode branching off from homogeneous one. In the process of their study, some of their numerical dynamic characteristics were calculated. But to understand the general pictures of how difficult it is to find certain exemplars of modes, other invariant, invariant characteristics are also required. For example, the Lipunov exponents. And here's a big problem because we consider a system with delay. It is known that for system with delay, as well as for boundary value problems, it is not possible to prove the well-known oscillated theorem, which allows us to calculate numerically the Lipunov exponents very efficiently. Therefore, we can only talk about the estimates of the characteristics in some sense close to the Lipunov exponents. And such an algorithm for Lipunov exponent spectrum estimation for system with time delay was developed by a group of aerosol scientists, including me. This algorithm is based on the classical BNT method with renal, <coughs> renal renormalization by the Gram Schmidt algorithm. It contains two methods of linearized system solutions processing, methods of impulse functions and method of trigonometric functions that is more natural for continuous systems. It uses uh, the fifth order dormant prints method with variable time step as numerical method. It was tested, tested on Hutchinson equa equation in case of which the Lipunov exponents can be calculated in a different way by solving the system of algebraic equations. It was applied to study the model with two delays from neurodynamics, where the multipliers of solutions were calculated analytically in the limiting case. And in the case of a simply large parameter, the multipliers were determ determined numerically using the algorithm. And the numerical results corresponded with the analytical. This model is interesting because it contains a phenomenon of quasi-stable behavior. It means that the stability matrix of some solutions contains multipliers that are very close to the unit circle, which leads to long transition processes, which are sometimes visually indistinguishable from chaotic behavior. The details of algorithm testing and applying to the near dynamics model are in these articles. So we apply this algorithm to study some modes from our considering boundary value problem. Thereby, we numerically solve together with the main system three, the set of systems that are linearized on the studied attractor. For all experiments, the following parameters were used. Time step before renormalization of linearized systems solutions T is equal to one, number of recalculations of Lipunov exponents L is equal to 2000, number of points of linearized system solutions partition M is equal to 1000, number of calculated Lipunov exponents K is equal to five. For convenience, the values of the Lipunov exponents have been rounded to the second decimal place. As a result, the model consists of 60,000 equations with delay numerically calculated by the dormant prince method of the fifth order with a variable length of the integration step. Calculations were carried out for 10 modes at different values of diffusion coefficient, including the self-organization modes. First of all, it was studied, especially in homogeneous mode, branching off from homogeneous one. It was called a leading center mode. On the slide, you see a special distribution of mode at time, time points. I will show you an animation, which will be easier to understand these static pictures. And before it, I note that in case of this mode, for a better view of shape, the scale of Z axis is relative from minimum to maximum value. For other modes, is absolute scale. Also, a part where the solution is in the area of almost zero values is heavily cut out. Okay, let's see. So here is uh, this, especially in homogeneous mode, branching off from homogeneous one. So we see that it falls to zero, 
is in area of zero, then it grows, but very slow, and more faster and faster. And after some time, it grows exponentially. It's now we will see it. Sorry to interrupt, but on Zoom, we cannot see the video. Ah, not see. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, one second, please. Okay, just a second. We're going to open this animation in uh, movie and we'll share the screen because it looks like Zoom doesn't understand that it's played in. Ah. Так, подождите, вы, вы открыли это... Отдельный файл. Не, а то есть оно не имбирит. Я думаю, оно... Сейчас... Maybe you are not sharing... Sure, yeah, I didn't realize. I was looking at it and I thought it was uh, embedded into the presentation. No, no. What you have to do... Look. You need to just to stop it, okay, and then go here, mm -hmm. choose this screen, uh -huh. and then so if you want to. So, uh, can you see it now? Yes, now we can see it, oh. thanks. Okay, so uh, here we see the note. Uh, now it's... Uh, Falls to zero extremely, then it will be sometime in area of zero values, then it will grow, grows to values uh, that are more and more. And uh, now we see exponentially grow, but uh, the values are very small, but it goes faster and faster. And now we will see a peak and a wave. It's very fast process. So, uh, so looks uh, this cycle, this mode. Especially in continuous. So, okay. Uh, next uh, mode. Ah, oh, sorry. Um, as we see, the second Lipunov exponent is close to zero. Uh, and the third is near the zero value because the value of diffusion coefficient is close to its critical value, uh, 0 0.0373. So we observe some kind of quasi-stable behavior. This effect disappears if we reduce the diffusion value. So the second Lipunov exponents, exponent separates from zero. Uh, next mode is a leading center at a smaller value of diffusion coefficient, when the shape is a bit different. The center of splash is in a center of area omega. And I will show you this in dynamics. Back now, just a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. It's just harder than I think. Так, окей. О, что-то тут светило. Тут что-то светило немножко. Так, sorry. Ага, так, все. Окей, Now, ага. Now, we can see this mode. Okay. So the peak is in the center of area omega. So it's look so. 
Now, uh, uh, here is the second Lipunov exponent, it's quality separated from zero. Before we move on to the next modes, we will introduce some numerical dynamic characteristics. The value of the average over space period, average over space and time, minimum and maximum of average over space, and minimum and maximum of values in the area. So uh, the next mode is called vortex. Here we can see that average over space and time uh, is far from zero. That indicates the self-organization nature of this mode. And uh, now I show you uh, uh, an animation. Okay, just Так, one second. Okay, here we go. So this is cycle with such a dynamics. So the population uh, moves from one corner to another and then it repeats. So, Next mode. Uh, this slide shows what happens where, with vortex mode when we decrease diffusion coefficient. The vortex mode turns into a classical spiral wave. As we see, they have also the average over space and time far from zero. These modes have multiple frequencies, what affects the spectrum. But in case of modes F and E, the impact on spatial distribution is not observable on the grid 100 to 100. The animation shows the mode F. One second, please. Sorry. <laughs> one second. So there is this mode, spiral wave. And I have calculated uh, first five Lipnov exponents for this mode also. Okay. Next okay. mode. Is called the two coherent vertices mode. It has two frequencies, so the, the second Lipunov exponent is close to zero. The animation shows just a small part of big period of this mode, so it is wrecked. So here is a part of a very huge period. So there are two groups of populations that uh, go to two corners. Uh, next mode. Here we see four coherent vortices mode. It has a single frequency, but the diffusion coefficient value 0 0.031 is very close to critical for this mode. So we can see a quasi-stable behavior. And let's look how it is in dynamics. So here is this mode. Here we see one group of population, two groups of population, and sometimes four groups by the corners. So this is one of the uh, self-organization modes that I have found in this boundary value problem. And uh, the last mode that I will show now, 
just a second. The final mode uh, called spiral wave mode with three prawns. And uh, this mode has multiple frequencies. It affected the spectrum. And uh, now uh, we uh, can see on these pictures and then in animation that there are three groups. Uh, and sometimes uh, there uh, exists a bridge between these three groups of population. Okay, it's uh, just a part of a huge period also, but uh, we can see how it goes in dynamics. Okay. Small values of the Lipunov exponents indicate a slow convergence of solutions to the indicated modes in the case of an, an unsuccessful choice of the initial conditions, which emphasize the complexity of the problem of finding new attractors in the considered system. Also, we note that in the case of vortex modes, in which a spiral tail is observed, modes D, G, D, G, the first five Lipunov exponents change insignificantly with a decrease of the diffusion coefficient, which indicates the absence of a qualitative difference in convergence to these modes at quite noticeable visual difference between them. Thank you for your attention.